Well, it's chip shop time again, and this week it's Mansell's Chippy. Mel will be joining me for the usual fish, chips, and a curry sauce. So, let's go. It's chip shop number three, and this week we're trying Mansell's Chippy, which you'll find at the entrance to the fair, Coney Beach, on the Eastern Promenade. But the main thing, Mel, mm -hmm. look at this weather. I know, it's beautiful. We do actually get sun in Wales. Because the last video we did. <laughs> yeah. Chip yeah. Shop, it was snowing. Yeah, the Beals video was snowing with minus something. Oh gosh. And I think the curry sauce actually froze then. <laughs> it probably did. I know. Should we get the chips I think and so. eat them on the beach? Good idea. He's looking for chips. <laughs> Just a reminder, we are trying all the chip shops in Porth Core. So if we haven't got to your favourite yet, we will be getting there, won't we? Hopefully. Yeah, we're doing them all. Well, I'm 10 stone heavier. <laughs> and there's been some heated debate. The debate continues. What the best chippy in Porth Call is. We're not having fish and chips and curry sauce as such. We're having fish and chips and chips and curry sauce. Yeah. Because Marcus doesn't eat fish. <laughs> yeah, all the people are saying, why are you having curry sauce? It's my choice. I'm Welsh. You have to have something saucy with your chips don't you yeah and you're sharing yeah chips with me. if you want That's dry chips doing. go somewhere else we're having <laughs> curry sauce whether you like it or not <laughs> as usual we'll be judging these on the price the portion size the presentation and the of course the taste and at the end we'll be giving the usual score out of 10. so should we go to get chips together yes i think as we walk over we need some funky music. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna liven these videos up. Okay. Funky music, let's go. How much was it? It's hand That's the first. When we're waiting, because the fish is cooked to order, they offered us free tea or coffee. Down the beach. Down the beach. Oh. Chip cam. Chip cam, yeah. <laughs> Tartar sauce, hand wipe, and some plastic forks as well. Open the chips, come on, we'll wait okay, for the chips. Okay. He's after our hey. chips. Hey. 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 It smells nice. That's really good. Sound crunchy. Mm -hmm. right. Let's try it. So the main thing, the fish, mm. prefer to the chips. Mm -hmm. Before I forget, yes, she has brought the tomato sauce. I think I'll try the curry sauce, like a wine. I'll take a sip. Mm. A good vintage. <laughs> yes. Mm. Sweet, sweeter than last week. Still a spicy kick to it. Mm. It's nice being out in the sun. Mm. 
like the curry sauce. It's a bit spicier, I think, the last week. But it's very nice. doesn't seem to be much left now. Full now. <laughs> the portion size of the fish is good. It's not going to be seen. It was freshly cooked. Yeah, again, it was cooked to order. Mm. Just like portion. One thing I think I would ask for more salt vinegar, perhaps. Yeah, that's happened in a few of them. Beals was fine. Boat house needed a bit more salt and vinegar. You just have to ask. I've come across a couple of small bones, which is only to be expected when you're having fish or chips, to be honest. But only two. So, well, seven up, price again. Eight pounds forty. Eight pounds forty. That's the cheapest so far, but only by a few pence. It's still not much in the three we've tried. Uh, portion size? It was, wait a minute, break that down. It was £6.90 for fish and chips. And £1.50 for the curry sauce. That's right. That seems, that's the standard so far. Uh, portion size was good. Very good. I did forget to mention, Mansell's Chippy does have an offer on Wednesdays at the moment, until the end of March. They're doing fish and chips and a hot drink to your coffee for two people for £11, which is quite a good deal. So the overall score, Mel. What's the overall score? We'll do the same, three, two, one, then we shout out. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, eight and a half. Seven and a half. <laughs> oh, yeah, first time difference. I'll go first, eight and a half. I like the chips, I like the curry sauce, I enjoyed the curry sauce. Um, it had the extras and they gave me a cup of coffee when I was waiting. So with that, a little extra, eight and a half. Bear in mind, I'm not a big fan of fish in general, so Mel has most of the fish. So that's where it may vary. But eight and a half for me, Mel. Well, I think it's a good sized portion of fish and it was freshly cooked which was nice. The extras were good. I didn't think the chips were quite as good as the other two places we've been to both called before. Um, I don't think it was quite as tasty but I'm being really picky here because obviously the standard of fish and chips so far yeah, it's found is good. very very high. So I preferred it and Mel thought it was not quite Just as good. a tiny bit. Not as good as yeah, but still good, you know, or compared to most places so you have anywhere else outside of Port Core. Still very good. Yeah. You could go wrong with any no. with the three we've tried. And for value for money. And like I said, if you're just fine, you know, we have to try every, we have to come back and try all the things. And for value for money it's been the best so far, I think. And that's the one thing we're not getting over is the consistency. Like we've been to Every, we haven't been to this one before, but the other mm. ones you've been to four and had really good meals and not so good meals. So. Yeah. But again, I've been really happy with it. Well, this is my favourite so far. I got scored it an eight and a half. Mel scored it a seven and a half. So overall, it's still an eight. <laughs> <I'm rich. laughs> Don't forget to comment on your favourite fish and chip shop but keep it clean and join us next time, myself and Mel, in our quest to find the best fish and chips in Porthcore. In the meantime, you can catch up with the chip shops we've already done in the playlist coming up at the end, or you can see myself and Mel touring the world, seeing the sights and having the odd argument or two. So until next time, that's a bye from me and a bye from Mel. Bye.